So it's been raining a lot the last few days and there's still more rain to come. And um, popped into the greenhouse just to check it out and we've got flooding, which is totally normal because um, Chicago is a wetland. Uh, it's a big old swamp. Um, we're not far from the Chicago River at this location, so uh, it's totally not a shocker that we get flooding in the greenhouse, especially since the greenhouse is the lowest point on the property, other than the back, um, the rear left corner, which is kind of where most of the water makes its way um, as it's draining. But I just wanted to show you guys this, uh, this flood. When I put this floor in, I specifically planned for the flooding that we get here and made sure to design it in a way that's permeable. So this floor is 100% permeable as the water infiltrates into the groundwater. Uh, beneath the property, it'll just go in through these rocks. The pebbles that are in between the tiles are totally just on earth so there's no problem at all. I didn't put any landscape fabric under it, which is why we get little leaves and stuff growing, uh, which isn't a huge deal. I just pulled that stuff out. The pond is totally unaffected by it. There's a liner that goes all the way up under those bricks that um, surround it. So the fish are not affected. That water will never get in and contaminate them, which is great, but, um, yeah, moral of the story here is, you know, if you got flooding, you gotta design around it. This greenhouse is designed around it. Um, we just get like a seasonal pond here in the springtime whenever we get heavy rains like this. Um, no big deal. Otherwise, the plants are totally <laughs> loving the warmer weather. Everything's starting to leaf out again, just like these figs that you see here, starting to leaf out, give us flowers garlic, strawberries are blooming already. I mean, it's only March. Lavender, parsley. Um, if it weren't so flooded in here, I would show you a little bit more. But yeah, all those citrus trees um, that lost their leaves get their leaves back every year. It's not a big deal. And the herbs are doing good. The kale is... Uh, kind of over bloomed or overgrown but the chickens like it at this point at this point I keep it around because it makes the chickens happy <laughs> all right chick 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 hey guys what's up here you are come and get it <laughs> 